All right, this is my little plug before the video. If you haven't ever tried this, you need to. It's this ancient mushroom elixir that's also root beer. It's the best drink on the planet. All right, what is up everybody? My name is Carson Craning. Welcome again to another YouTube video. Today, I'm going to be talking to you guys about designer items that are actually worth their price tag. Um, I'm making this video because I get this question a lot. What items are actually uh, worth their high price tag? Um, I wanna make a point first. I'm not talking about like flexing pieces in this video. Like for example, is a capital Boro jacket worth it in terms of like as an art piece and something that might satisfy you? But practically speaking, nobody needs a capital Boro jacket, right? These aren't gonna be the Paris Fashion Week crazy over-the-top flexing items, but these are those subtler under-the-table flexes that people just make little mental notes of and say, man, he dresses really well. So these are minimalist, practical items. I put this list together based on items that I think most people would like. It would go well in most wardrobes, and they're also very good quality. You're getting the most bang for your buck. All right, the first item I want to talk about is a shoe. There's a lot of different designer shoes that people like to point to as being super good. A lot of people like Rick Owens Ramones or Rick Owens shoes in general. A lot of people like Guidi. But if I had to pick one particular shoe that I think is worth the high price point, I would say it would be the Mason Margiela Gat or Replica German Army Trainer. Brands like Puma and Adidas have their own version of the Gat. Adidas has collaborations of their Gat model with not only Wales Bonner, but Gucci, which have been super popular this year. The name Gat comes from the original Gat, which is the German Army Trainer. The German Army Trainer, as the name suggests, was a German Army shoe that was developed back in the 70s. And the silhouette is just super practical and has a great construction. And so a lot of brands have adapted and made their own version. Now the reason I am recommending the Margiela version over any other version is for a few reasons. The first is that generally it's just a really clean and versatile silhouette. It's very clean, people like it, and it can go with a lot of different styles and outfits. If you want to look super casual and just wear it with like jeans and a t-shirt, you can and it still looks great. But if you want to dress it up more and maybe wear it in a business casual setting, you definitely can. Or if you want to wear it in a more fashion forward way, it looks great with more archive or avant-garde stuff. The other big part of it is just the materials. The replica line for Margiela are replicas or copies of pre-existing designs that Margiela makes with the best quality um, materials that they can. The lambskin that he uses is super soft, it's super comfortable. Not only does it just like feel great to touch, but it feels great on the foot and to wear. The silhouette is tested by the German army to be efficient. And so because Margiela is just remaking that with the best materials, he's made a really sturdy, comfortable shoe that lasts a long time. I've had my personal pair for five to six years at this point, and there's a tiny hole in it that can definitely easily be repaired. I've literally walked hundreds of miles in my pair. I've worn them on every long trip I've gone to, and they keep looking great and holding up. So that's why I would definitely recommend the Margiela Gat as the best designer shoe you can buy on the market. All right, the next item I want to talk to you guys about is a pair of pants from none other than Rick Owens. Now, Rick Owens is not known for his usually practical uh, wardrobe or pieces. Nine out of 10 people who wear Rick Owens look like some sort of like androgynous vampire of some sort. However, this is not the case with these pants. I'm talking about the Rick Owens Berlin sweatpants from the Dark Shadow line. And Rick Owens answered the question of how to make sweatpants actually look nice. Look, when it comes to sweatpants, they're super comfortable. But look, honestly, have you ever seen a guy in a great fit wearing sweatpants? Nine out of 10 times, if you're wearing sweatpants, like, you bricked the fit. It doesn't look good. And that's not necessarily the sweatpants fault. Look, sweatpants aren't designed to look good most of the time, but Rick Owens did it. He actually made sweatpants that look great. The reason they look so great is because of the shape and the material. The way these sweatpants are cut form and fit the body in a way that is very flattering. We're also paying a premium, of course, for the materials. The materials are a lot better. Um, they're a higher quality, so not only do they look nicer, but they also are super soft and feel great. I can actually wear these sweatpants to work, and most people don't even register them as sweatpants. They just see them as a pair of trousers. These are the only pair of sweatpants I know 
that you can wear it with a blazer and it looks good. And because this pair of pants is so versatile and comfortable, I would definitely recommend it, especially if you're like me and you like to work from home. Every year, these pair of pants always go on sale and you can get them at around the $250 range, which is still expensive, but not as expensive considering the item is Rick Owens. My next recommendation is a blazer and pants combo from Issey Miyake. This is a pretty well-known one. It's the Issey Miyake pleats, the blazer, and the pants. If you don't know about Issey Miyake, what makes him so great is how much he innovated in fashion. And one of his greatest innovations was probably the pleats that he developed in the 80s. It's a super unique uh, technique that you don't really see anywhere else where the garment has pleats all around it. And that means for a couple of things. One, it just looks hella unique. Uh, you don't usually see garments that like have this type of texture or pattern uh, to them, but also it makes it relatively easy to maintain these garments and keep them looking nice. So in my opinion, if you're a young professional, um, this is the suit you need to buy or buy one, the pants or the blazer for a few reasons. Number one, like I aforementioned, it's super easy to maintain. You can throw it in your luggage really easily. You never have to worry about having to iron this it's super easy to throw on and it's just going to make your day easier especially if you're traveling for business number two it's super comfortable despite this being suiting it's probably the most comfortable suiting you can buy it's very flowy um, and it comes in a couple of different cuts that are all very comfortable you can get the more cropped um, wider version or you can get the straight leg version which i prefer personally but it just makes your business day to day uh, uniform a little bit more comfortable which is nice and the last reason why you should consider buying this if you're a young professional is that it's appropriate yet interesting right it's super hard to look good in the office uh, appropriately you can't always be pulling up with the crazy avant-garde fit to the office but this kind of treads the line in a way that makes sense Obviously, this isn't going to be for the more formal, formal environments, but for those business casual settings where you still need to look nice, this is going to take the cake. You're going to look different enough that people are going to take notice, really like it, but not to the point where it does not look appropriate for the work environment. Look, when it comes to going into a more formal setting, you can't always have the avant-garde drip. You can't go all the way out of the way, whether it be at like a nicer event or when you're in the office. Sometimes you can't be too much of a flexor. And in those scenarios, what I find most of the time is, is that a subtle flex is actually gonna be better. And it's just more appropriate, right? It doesn't scare people. And in times where you need to be more formal, the subtle flex is always the win. And of course, you don't have to be a young professional to enjoy the Isimiyaki pleats. Uh, just for any formal setting and the pants just look great by themselves as well uh, they're the perfect pair of pants in my opinion i'm talking about t-shirts and these are expensive t-shirts remember when macklemore said that's a hundred dollars for a t-shirt and complained about it and whined like the little bitch well he wouldn't have complained about it if it was an arcteryx valence t-shirt he would understand why it was so nice and i can't speak highly enough of a long sleeve or plain t-shirt when it comes to designer t-shirts, it's really hard to understand what's actually worth it because there are a lot of plain designer t-shirts that are advertised as the best basic t-shirt. And I'll be honest with you guys, nine out of the 10 times, it's not worth it. It's just in a slightly different cut and the materials aren't that great. But this t-shirt, the Arcteryx Valence long sleeve or short sleeve t-shirt, 100% worth it. It's worth every penny. And if you don't know what Valence is, it's Arcteryx's subline where they try to make more fashion forward items. They're making items for your everyday life instead of items for hiking, but they're using the best fabrics and technical designs and patterns and cuts as they can. And it really shows in this t-shirt as it just feels like the best t-shirt you've ever felt in your life. I have the long sleeve version personally, and what makes it so great is the materials. First of all, it's made out of this beautiful merino, and it's super soft and feels amazing. And the best part of it is, is that it lasts. Like, you know when you guys get something and it's super soft the first few times you wear it, but then you wash it once or twice and it gets stiff and it doesn't feel as soft anymore. And it's kind of disappointing. And that happens to me with so many different items, but not this one. I've washed this item so many times and it never feels like it's less soft. It always feels amazingly soft and great. And so the great feeling you get from the fabric lasts for a long time, which on its own is one reason to buy this item because it just feels amazing. But second of all, it's because it has an amazing cut 
It's definitely a little bit more of a form-fitting or slimmer cut, but it just fits the body so well. The material itself also has a stretchiness to it, so even though it is more form-fitting, you don't feel constricted when you're moving in the garment as you usually do with more form-fitting items. This is definitely the best t-shirt or long sleeve t-shirt that I have ever found and is probably one of the best quality items that I've ever felt ever to be honest. So even though it is more expensive for a t-shirt, it's worth every penny in my opinion. With that being said, this has been Karsten Craning. Thank you again for watching this video. Like, subscribe if you want to see more. I make clothes um, and have my own brand as well as make YouTube videos. And with that being said, have a great day.